start muna tayo sa mga simple word problems or doon muna tayo sa algebra magsimula or yung mga basic word problems. So, meron ako pinrepare dito ng 20 questions. Uh, pwede rin lumabas sa major or pwede rin sa gen ed. So, for question number 1, so 21 siya dito, a mouse scuttles along at 4 meter per second, a chicken can run at 15 km per hour, a black mamba snake can slither 10 meters in a second, a squirrel can cover 300 meters in 1 minute, which animal is slowest? So, yung hinahanap dito is yung pinakamabagal. So, for our solution, uh, ilista mo muna, or ilista muna natin yung mga given. Ang given natin is Meron tayong mouse, which is 4 meter per second. Chicken, 15 kilometer per hour. Yung black mamba natin ay 10 meters per second. And then, yung squirrel natin ay 300 meters per uh, 1 minute. So, per minute. So, kung observe natin yung ating given, uh, yung 4 meters... Meron din tayong 10 meters. So, dalawa yung 10 meters per second natin. So, para pinakamadali, para malaman natin yung pinakamabagal, pare-pareho natin gawin silang meter per second. So, ang babaguhin nilang natin ay si chicken and si squirrel. Since si mouse and si black mamba ay pareho nang nakameter per second. So, so, sa isang kilometer, meron tayong 1,000 meters. So, therefore, si 15 kilometers ay equivalent to 15,000 meter per R. So, okay na tayo. Nakameter na siya. Pero kasi si R, gagawin nating second. So, magiging 15,000 over ang 1 R, meron tayong 3,600 seconds. 15,000 meter per 3,600 seconds. So, isimplify na lang natin. 15,000 divided by 3,600 is 4.100 or 4.167 meter per second. So, compare na natin sila since naka-meter na rin to. So, meron pa tayong isang hindi naka-meter per second which is the squirrel. So, 300 meters per minute. So, since nakameter naman na siya, si minute na lang yung babaguhin natin. Gagawin natin second. So, 300 meters over sa isang minuto, meron tayong 60 seconds. So, 60 seconds. So, simplify. 300 divided by 60 is 5 meter per second. So, kung mapapansinin natin, 4 meter per second, si mouse. Si chicken naman ay 4.167. Si black mamba is 10 meter per second. Si squirrel naman ay 5 meters per second. So, sino pinakamabagal? So, obvious naman na pinakamabagal ay si mouse. Since 4 meter per second. So, answer for first question is letter A. So, ang slowest natin ay yung mouse. Okay, so next question natin. A farmer saw some chickens and pigs in a field. He counted 90 heads and 286 legs. Determine how many chickens and pigs he saw. So, ang given lang po natin sa problem na ito ay 90 heads and 286 legs. So, ang question, ilang chicken and pigs ang nakita nung ating farmer? So, so, again, ang given lang natin ay 286 legs and 90 heads. So, for the solution, syempre, gagamit tayo ng variable. So, let x be the number of chickens and then let y be the number of pigs. So, dun tayo sa illustration. So, since, dun muna tayo sa number of legs, ilang legs ba meron ng chicken? So, dalawa lang. So, since si chicken ay x, so, pwede ating sabihin na 2x ang kanyang 
legs or number of legs. And then si pigs or yung pig natin. So pig lang po ito. <laughs> so yung pig natin, alam naman natin ang baboy ay meron lang na uh, apat na paa. So pwede nating sabihin na 4y. Doon pa lang po tayo sa number of legs ha. Chicken, dalawa yung kanyang legs. So, 2x. And then, yung pig naman natin, meron tayong apat na paa. We have 4y. Or, apat na legs. Okay, so, 2x. And then, 4y. Ang total nila, total number of legs, is 286. So, ngayon, doon naman tayo sa number of head. So, alam naman natin na si chicken ay meron lang isang ulo. So, X lang yan. And then, ganun din si pig. Meron lang rin siyang one head. So, Y. Equals, ang total daw na nakita ng farmer na heads ay 90. So, kung gagawin natin siyang equation, yung unang equation natin, which is the legs, pwede natin sabihin na, 2x plus 4y equals 286. So, doon naman tayo sa heads. x plus y equals 90. So, masasolve natin, kailangan natin mahanap is si x and then si y, yung value nila. So, masasolve natin to using systems of linear equation. So, Ang pwede natin gamitin dito is the elimination method. Kailangan may ma-eliminate na magkapareho. But, 2 saka 4, 1 saka 1, walang magkapareho. So, gagawin natin ang paraan. Pwede natin itong baba, i-multiply natin by negative 2. Atong lahat na to i-multiply natin by negative 2 para may makancel tayo sa taas. So, magiging ano na siya. Kapag minultiply sa 2, magiging negative 2 x Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. And then, negative 2 times 90 equals negative 180. So, ngayon, ito na yung bago nating system. So, i-rewrite ko lang. 2x plus 4y equals 286. Tapos, yung bago natin, which is negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 180. So, may makakancel na dyan. I-add natin. So, of course, 2x plus negative 2x cancel. And then, 4y plus negative 2y equals positive 2y. Equals 286 plus negative 180 is positive 106. And then, to get the value of y, divide, uh, divide both sides by 2. So, y equals 106 divided by 2 is 53. So, ngayon, meron na tayong value ng y or yung ating number of pigs. So, ngayon, para makuha yung ating x or yung number of chickens, Pumili ka lang dyan sa dalawa, or kahit ito, makukuha na natin yung value ng uh, x. Isasubstitute lang natin si 53 sa y. So, gamitin natin itong x plus y equals 90. So, x plus y equals 90. Kahit anong gamitin natin dyan, pwede rin naman itong 2x plus 4y, pero mas madali kasi si x plus y equals 90. So, x plus 53, substitute lang natin yung value ng y equals 90. And then, solve for the value of x. So, x equals 90 transpose natin sa kabila si 53, minus 53. So, 90 minus 53 equals 37. So, ngayon, meron tayong 53 pigs. And then, ang x natin dun sa... Uh, Given kanina, ang x natin yung chicken, yung y natin ay pig. So, yung y natin 53, so therefore, siya si pigs. And then, we have 37 or number of chickens. 
So, we have 53 and 37. So, balikan natin yung problem. So, the answer is letter uh, 37 chicken and 53 pigs. So, the answer is letter C. So, for question number 2, the answer is 37 chickens and 53 pigs. Okay, so for the third question, tayo. in a university, the ratio of female professors to the male professors is 8 is to 5. If there are 288 female profe professors, how many are male professors? So, ang given po natin na ratio is 8 is to 5. 8 is to 5. So, alam naman natin na yung 8 daw, sabi ang nauna sa given is yung word na female bago yung male. So, ang female natin is yung ating 8. Female. And then, yung 5 is the male. Equals, if there are 288 female professor, so, therefore, ang given natin ay 288 female. So, 288 is 2 how many are male professors? So, ang nawawala natin is yung mga male professors. So, let x yung nawawala. So, 8 is to 5 equals 288 is to x. So, inner over outer lang tayo. 5 times 288 and then 8 times x. So, 8 times x equals 8x. And then, 5 times 288 is 1,440. And then, find the value of x. So, divide both sides na lang by 8. So, x equals 1,440 divided by 8 is 180. Therefore, there are 180 male professors. So, the, num uh, the answer for third question or 23 is letter A, 180. So, for question number 4 or 24, a big container contains 12 liters when it is a 30% full. How much does it contain when it is 90% full? So, uh, ratio and proportion pa rin tayo. So, sabi dito, 12 liters when it is 30%. So, pwede natin sabihin na 12 is to 30% equals... How much does it contain when it's 90% full? So, 90% yung given. Therefore, uh, itatapat mo rin siya na parang yung position ng 30%. So, ang nawawala, ito, x is to 90%. Ayan. So, find the value of x. So, again, si 30% and 90%, gagawin muna natin decimal yan para uh, may apply natin yung operation. So, 12 is to 30% ay 0. 30 equals x is to 90% is 0 0.90. And then, again, inner over outer. Uh, inner times, uh, tapos yung outer naman natin. 0 0.30 times x, meron tayong 0 0.30x. Equals, ito naman po, 12 times 0 0.90 is 10. Point 8. So, solve for the value of x, divide both side by 0 0.30. So, cancel. x equals 10.8 divided by 0 0.30 is 36. So, the answer is 36 liters. So, letter C. So, for number 25, what number must be subtracted from both numerator and denominator of the fraction 11 over 23 to give a fraction whose value is 2 fifth or 2 over 5? So, ano daw yung number na isusubtract natin both numerator and denominator para makakuha tayo ng 2 over 5? A2, B4, C5, or D3? So, again, kapag ka ganyan, itatry mo lang lahat para malaman mo kung alin ba yung makakapagbigay ng 
2 fifths. So, itry natin si 2. So, 11 over 23. So, minus 2, minus 2. So, 11 minus 2 is 9. 23 minus 2 is uh, 21. So, obvious naman, hindi siya nakapagbigay ng 2 fifths. Kasi kapag ka nilowest term natin to, 9 over 21 is 3 over 7. So, x is si A. Si B naman, so again, ang given pa rin natin, 11 over 23. So, i-minus naman natin si 4. 11 minus 4 is 7. 23 minus 4 is 19. So, 7 over 19. So, hindi rin siya nakapagbigay ng 2 fifth. So, try naman natin si 5. So, 11 over 23 pa rin. Minus... 5 minus 5. Both numerator and denominator. 11 minus 5 is 6 over 23 minus 5 is 18. So, kapag nilowest term natin si 6 over 18, makakuha lang tayo ng 1 third. So, last natin. So, x is 4, x is 5. Try naman natin si letter D. Yung 3. 11 over 23 minus 3 minus 3. 11 minus 3 is 8 over 23 minus 3 is 20. So, pag nilowest term natin yan, para silang divisible by 4. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2 and then 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, nakapagbigay ng 2 fifth. Therefore, ang answer natin is letter D. Yung 3. So, next problem natin, on a certain day, Three computer technician took turns in manning a 24-hour internet shop. The number of hours Cesar, Bert, and Danny were on duty was in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 respectively. The, the shop owner pays 40 pesos per hour. How much would Danny receive for that day? So again, uh, isulat lang muna natin yung ating ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, 1 is to 2 is to 3. And then, ang total ng uh, paggagawa nila doon is 24 hours. So, pwede natin sabihin ng equation natin ay si x. So, pwede natin sabihin na x plus 2x plus 3x equals 24. So, x plus 2x plus 3x, meron tayong 6x equals 24. And then, divide both sides by 6. Makukuha natin ay x equals, so, yun, x 24 divided by 6 is uh, 4. So, x equals 4. So, hindi pa yun yung sagot. So, ang tanong kasi dito, 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, ang unang nabanggit ay si Cesar, pangalawa si Bert, pangatlo si Danny. At ang question ay yung kay Danny. So, ito si Cesar, si Bert, and then si Danny, si 3x. So, ngayon, gagamitin natin yung 3x, and then, isasubstitute natin yung 4 dun sa x. So, magiging 3 times 4 equals 12. So, Per hour, ang binabayaran sa kanila is 40 pesos. Since 12 hours, ang nagawa or nakapag-duty si Danny, so 12 times 40 equals, 12 times 40 is equal to 480. So, ito yung uh, marireceive ni Danny, 480. So, the answer is letter D. So, next question natin, Harry takes 2 hours to wash 500 dishes and Kimi takes 3 hours to wash 450 dishes. How long will they take working together to wash 1,000 dishes? So, given natin si Harry 500 dishes in 2 hours. So, pwede natin gawin na 500 divided by 2 equals 250. 
And then, si Kimi naman, 3 hours to 450. So, 450 divided by 3 equals 150. So, 250 plus 150, meron tayong total na 400. So, ang question, how long will they take working together to wash 1,000 dishes? So, 1,000 divided by 400 equals 2.5. So, it takes 2.5 hours for them to wash uh, 1,000 dishes. So, the answer is letter D. 2.5 hours. So, for number 28, there are two numbers whose sum is 72. One number is twice the other. What are the numbers? So, meron daw tayong dalawang numbers. So, sabihin natin na uh, meron tayong dalawang number, x plus y equals 72. So, yun yung unang sinabi. Two numbers whose sum is 72. Another statement one number is twice the other. So, sabihin natin na si x ay uh, 2y. Uh, x equals 2y since one number is twice the other. x equals 2y. So, ngayon, what are the numbers? So, kailangan natin masolve yung value ni x and y. So, since meron tayong x plus y equals 72, I-substitute natin yung value ng x na nauna, which is, uh, yung value ng x which is 2y, doon sa ating x para maging pareho na silang y. Since si 2y naman ay, ay equal kay x. So, pwede natin sabihin na si x ay equal din naman kay 2y. So, 2y plus y equals 72. So, again, x plus y equals 72, yung una nating statement, pangalawa, x equals 2y. Since, si x ay equal naman kay 2y, papalitan ko na dito si x ng 2y. So, ngayon, pareho na silang y, mapapag-add na natin. 2y plus y equals 3y equals 72. So, divide both sides by 3. So, cancel. 72 divided by 3 is... 24. So, may value na tayo ng y which is 24. So, pwede na natin i-substitute dito para makuha natin yung value ng x. So, x plus y equals 72. So, x plus ang y natin ay 24. So, 24 equals 72. x equals si 24 transpose natin sa kabila. 72 minus 24 is equal to 48. So, ang y natin ay 24, ang x natin ay 48. Therefore, yung dalawang number ay 24 and 48. Letter D. So, parang pansin ko lang po parang karamihan letter D. 29. Simplify 3x minus 12 over 3x divided by x minus 4. So, pwede natin isulat as 3x minus 12 over 3x. Ayan, tapos divided by x minus 4. So, over x minus 4. So, isimplify natin yan. Again, para mas madali, lagyan mo dito ng denominator na 1. Since lahat naman... Uh, ay mayroong invisible na denominator na 1. So, mag-outer over inner ka na lang. Outer, so 3x minus 12 times 1, 3x minus 12 pa rin. Over, inner, 3x times x minus 4. Sulat lang natin ulit, 3x times x minus 4. So, to simplify, uh, since si 3x minus 12, common monomial factor, Pareho silang divisible by 3. So, 3x divided by 3. So, ilabas na natin si 3. x na lang siya. And then, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, x minus 4. Again, ang common monomial factor ng 3x minus 12 ay 3 times x minus 
4. Since pareho silang divisible by 3. Nilabas na natin si 3. Kaya x na lang to, si 12, 4 na lang. Over 3x times x minus 4. So, may kita nyo naman, meron na pong makakancel. So, ang natira na lang natin ay 3 over 3x. And then, cancel din si 3. Ang natira na lang natin sa taas, may invisible na 1 dyan. And then, sa baba is x. So, the answer is 1 over x. So, the answer for number 29 is letter C. Okay, so for the number 30, the sum of 3 even consecutive integers is 102. What is the value of the largest even integer? So, kapag ka ganyan, maglilat lang ulit tayo ng value since uh, 3 even consecutive integers magkakasunod. So, yung una natin ay pwede natin sabihin na x. Yung pangalawa, x plus 2. Yung pangatlo, x plus 4. So, bakit ganyan? Even integers. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. Kaya, x, x plus 2, and then, x plus 4. And then, ang total daw nila ay 102. So, pwede natin sabihin sa equation na x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals 102. Pwede natin sabihin na ganyan. And then, so, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is equal to 3x plus 6 equals 102. So, next, uh, transpose lang natin si 6 sa kabila. So, meron tayong 3x equals 102 minus 6. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3x equals 102 minus 6 is uh, 96. So, meron tayong 3x equals 96. And then, divide both, divide both sides by 3. So, x equals 96 divided by 3 is 32. So, ngayon, ang value ng x natin is 32. So, ang value netong una natin ay 32. And then, yung x plus 2, 32 plus 2, ito ay 34. And then, yung pangatlo natin is x plus 4. So, ang x natin ay 32. 32 plus 4 ay meron tayong 36. Walikan natin yung tanong, what is the value of the largest even integers? So, ang largest natin yung pangatlo. So, 36. Therefore, the answer is letter D.